Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I look like Ursula right now, but I've been seeing these new waveformers and I was like, let me try it. But I was a little skeptical because like I had, I tried curl formers like probably four years ago and it didn't really work out for me. Like my ends were rough, the roots were puffy and I just kept them around and just never used them again. But I saw these and I've and I've seen some people get some really great results and I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it. So I'm giving this one a try and if this works out, I may consider trying the curl formers again. So um, in this video, I'm gonna show you how I install them, how I put them in. And I'm also going to show you what it looks like when I took them out. So if that's what you came to see, then stay tuned. Okay, so let's get into it. I am starting off on freshly washed hair that has been like air dried and my hair is separated into like six sections. I have uh, I think I got three packs of this and it is, there's, I think about 12 in a bag, there's about 12 in a pack and I have three packs, so that means I have 36, so I'm just going to separate each section in like two to three smaller sections when I do this okay so in here there's a hook and you just snap that together several days later okay. snapped in all right so there's the hook and okay I really want these curls to come out with like really good definition and I kind of want them to last and in order for me to do that, I need to have something that's going to give me a good hold. So today I'm going to use the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey um, Intensive Hyd Hydration Twist Defining Custard. That's what I'm going to use today as my moisturizer. And then I'm going to use the Eco Style of Black Castor Oil and Flax Seed Gel. Okay, so I'm going to start from the back and then make my way to the front. Okay, so I'm going to section, then I'm going to apply a little bit of water to make the section out. Okay. Then I'm going to comb through the section. And it's already untangled, but I just need to make sure that I am combing through any not so tangles that may have occurred. Then I'm going to take a little bit of my Manuka honey cream custard and then I'm going to get that all through the section, all through the section. Making sure to get the roots because them roots need to be as sleek as possible. Okay. And making sure to get the ends because you don't want your ends to be dry and for it to come off rough. So, two main things you want to make sure you get the roots and you want to make sure you get the ends. Oh crap! Okay, so once I have that done, as you can see, I'm going to take my um, flaxseed and castor oil gel. And I'm gonna work that through my hair also. Making sure to get the roots again 
and the ends. Okay. Okay. Now, once I'm done doing that, this is what my hair looks like. Then I'm going to section this out. Now I'm going to section. I have four more remaining. So I'm going to section this in four. And it doesn't have to be perfect sections. I'm not using a comb or anything. I'm just using my hand to separate my hair in four. Okay, so I'm done braiding. And as I said, um, the reason why I'm braiding is um, when you're braiding, you have to section your the section out in three to actually braid the hair. So to actually take it out, I will have three sections at the root that I can actually take apart. And that's gonna make it easier when I want to fluff it. Okay. Okay, so let's do it again. We take one of the sections we go through this section to make sure there is no knots. I didn't do it for this one, but there is no knots. So. And then I take the hook and I take the waveformer. I pass the hook through the waveformer and I keep it as close to the end of the hook as possible. Then I go in and hook it hook my hair get my hair through that hook now you want to make sure that you get all your hair through that hook because you don't want to end up pulling your hair out you know what I mean so all my hair is through the hook you can see and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring this as close to my scalp as possible and then I'm just gonna pull. Yep, pull, pull. And then turn it around and that's it. Yep. And I'm done. So I'm just gonna let this air dry. You can heat this if you want, but I wanna do a heatless style. So I'm not gonna put any heat in my hair, but you can heat it to make it dry faster. I'm just gonna cruise around with this because um, I have nothing to do right now. And then once it's dried, hopefully, I'll come back and I'll take it out and we'll see how they look. See you soon. Hey guys, I just wanted to take a break to remind you that you can follow me on my handles at CurlySue91 and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. Hey guys. So I'm back. I actually attempted to sleep in these. Well, I actually slept in these. Don't don't do it, sis. Don't do it. Mm -mm. These are not easy to sleep in. Like they are not easy to sleep in. I think my ears are bruised. <laughs> I'm kidding, but it wasn't easy to sleep in. Okay, so let's just take them out, and they're pretty easy to take out. You just Hold the top and then you pull it out. So that's what I'm about to do, okay? Now I have to unplug them or open them up, but I gotta take a shower, get my makeup done, and then I'll be ready to open this up. So just Bear with me. I'll be right back. Seven hours later. Okay, I'm back. And now we're just gonna go through and separate these from the roots. Okay, so I'm just gonna unbraid the roots as... Oops, I forgot my oil. So first you wanna put oil in your hands. So that you minimize frizz that way. So I have oil in my hands. Then I'm gonna go through and unbraid the root. So as I said, I am just like unraveling the roots. 
and then I am separating them to get as little frizz as possible. So I'm just separating them now where they actually want to separate. So that gives me a little more body. And it's up to you if you want to separate them. Like you don't have to. You can just unbreak them and then they will just naturally do their thing. But that's totally up to you. I want to separate them because I just wanted a little more body. And the next thing you want to do is fluff the roots. So just... But this looks awesome guys like this looks so good look look at the waves the wave pattern in this you cannot tell me that is not looking mm-hmm and then let's cut the back so this is how it came out I am absolutely impressed with the way it came out. Um, I plotted my roots, so you don't have to do that. You can actually just twist your roots. That might actually be better. I don't know, but I plotted my roots in this one and I think it came out fine. Um, and I absolutely love these waves. I think, um, it's you could see that it's defined and i really like the fact that you see those waves and maybe if i didn't separate them like i would have more of like a continuous wave um pattern all around but then that's up to you i actually like it like this with like the confused waves going on um the pros about this is that i think this is a really good heatless wave style if you want to get waves and don't want to put heat in your hair i think this is very good uh, you, i think you should try this um i think it would look a lot better or it would look a lot better on hair that's maybe a little longer but it still looks good on me so um if you have short hair you can try this and see if you like it um i would definitely try it when my hair gets longer and i'll probably buy some longer ones to see how that looks when i actually want a heatless style because it kind of looks like you actually put a flat iron to your hair or something and got those cute waves um and a corner of this is some of my so my your roots will not be straight my roots are not straight um, maybe because I plaited it, maybe because I braided it, that's why, but my roots are not straight. Maybe next time I could try twisting the roots, maybe that'll make my roots a lot straighter, but my roots are not complete, are not straight. Um, at the ends, there is some frizz, and that may be because I separated them a little more, but also, like, my hair, some of my, my hair still had its own curl pattern, you know? Like, it still had the its own curl pattern and not the pattern of the the waves and some of my ends are actually a little frizzy so there's that to look out for but apart from that i honestly like it and i'm actually gonna rock it until it decides uh it doesn't want to rock with me no more <laughs> okay so this is my review on this product um you should go ahead i think you should go if you like to see this then i think you should go ahead and give it a try um if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you have any comments go ahead and put that down in the comments um if you want to see more videos like this from me then i hope you consider to subscribe thank you so much for visiting my channel and thank you so much for watching this video see you guys in the next one bye